strangeness to it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It. Welcome to the series on Excel Macros for Beginners. In this series, I'll be taking you through the basics of Excel Macros by explaining you how to record a macro, edit a recorded macro, and then write a macro from the scratch. So without further ado, let's begin. Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It. And welcome to another video on Excel Macros. And in this video, we'll be seeing how we can copy paste, how we can change the font, how we can change the font size, the font type and everything and also how to work on uh, blocks and uh, how we can make borders, uh, the alignment of uh, the text inside the cell and the font color to change the font color and also to change the background color. So without further ado, let's begin. So we have the Excel spreadsheet being open over here. So to begin, we'll go to Developer tab and we'll go to Visual Basic. And already we have something being written over here. So I'm just going to erase this part. I'm just going to put some value. So we'll have something to work on initially. So I'm just going to uh, fill the value from B2 to B10 with the word hello. So I'll just click on the play and you'll have this being done over here. So we'll do one thing. We'll just gonna let me just clear the previous format which it's having. All right. Now All right. So now, now we have uh, something given over here called as hello, which is filled from B2 to B10 cells. Now, what we're going to do initially is to copy paste. So let's say if I want to copy this from B column to C column. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this part. I'm going to say the program that I need C2 to C10 to be equal to the value of B2 to B10, right? I'm just going to click on play and the value is copied from C to B. This is one way of doing it. Another way is, let's say if I want, I'll take this part again, now dot copy, right? Now this part is copied. Let's see how this line is executed. I'll just click on the play button. You can see that this is copied. Now usually we copy and we paste it somewhere, right? So let's do that. So now I'll take this part. I'll just click on this and I'll put it in D cell. So D column. So D2 to D10 dot paste special, right? Now if I click on the play button, you can see that B, B column, whatever values were there, was copied to D column, which is D2 to D10. So this was the first part. I'm just going to remove these. Now the next thing is to change the font, right? So let's say if I want to change uh, the font from B2 to B10. So B dot font dot name. So I'm going to put Arial. And let's see how it works. If I just click on play button, it plays and change to the Arial font. Now let's say if I want to change the size of this. Say if I want 20. You can see that the font size has changed to 20. Now let's say if I want to change it to bold. So bold equals true. In this case, both for uh, you can see for bold italics and underlined will be giving true or false it's because we this is kind of a toggle buttons it's like you can toggle it to bold or italics or u so generally it reads it like true or false so if i just click on uh, the play button it's true 
and if I just put as false now if I just play once more it becomes the normal uh, uh, unbolded one so similar goes with uh, underline okay it's false right so I'll just put true now that's that and the last one is italic right so it's all done so that's about uh, changing in terms of font now let's see uh, in this case we have seen that we are doing a lot of different tasks uh, over here right so there is another way to minimize the effort that is if we for example I'll just uh, show that by example let's say control C control V control V right so in this case let's say it is name and this is size this is bold right so name I'll put it as Arial true okay we do a lot of stuff so when the program is executed it's executed uh, line by line let's say that uh, I'm just gonna give F8 for line by line execution so right so let's also add okay here we put 20 so let's do it again f8 line by line okay so we do it line by line so there is another way in which I'm just going to take only this I'm going to remove everything there is a way to work with the blocks so let's say width and then we'll put this and we'll put this font and what we'll do is we'll put end width here and in between we can put dot bold equals true dot size equals 30 dot italic equals false right so all these things can be put so what is different over here is that we are making this as one block so we write this part and we use the width and end width over here and in between whatever we write we get the uh, we get to write it without uh, writing the first part of the code so now let's try to execute this f8 right so that's it f8 again and that ends the code so that's that part now comes uh, the border so let's work with the border now so I'm just gonna remove all this so in order for us to get the list of uh, actions that we can do we'll just uh, backspace once and put the dot and then go for border right we can go for a line style equals excel dot so this is one of the line styles so let's see how it works so we don't need this width command so I'm just gonna remove that so you can see that the excel dot that is the border has come with the style of dot everywhere right now we have a couple of different styles which we can use so it could be excel dot 
or it could be Excel dash. It could be Excel continuous. Right? So it could be a double an Excel none, which means the uh, border is removed. Right. So when there is nothing, uh, giving Excel none doesn't make any sense. So that was about uh, borders. Also here we have an option, let's say, uh, I'm just going to give something here. Okay. Okay. So in here, I'm just going to take this part here and I'm going to give color equals VB green. Okay, so you can see that we have a dotted border with the color green. So if I change VB red here, and if I click on the play button, it'll be changed to VB red. The reason why I wrote this uh, line once again is because in order for this to show, the color to show, we need to first of all have a border. So that was the reason. We can also change the weight. So if I give three, then it's gonna change the uh, the line thickness to three. So those are the different things that we can do with the uh, um, the borders. And the next thing is to do alignment. So let's say we're gonna work in C cell. C will work in C. Okay. Now <clears throat> we'll put vertical alignment equals Excel top. So if I change this like this. If I give Excel top, you can see that it went to the top. Okay, now if I take this part, Control C, I'll give one more line dot horizontal alignment Excel right. As it's already lying in the left, I'm going to give right. So you can see that it's going to the right. So you can just keep playing with this uh, top. You can give bottom. Here you can give left. So it goes bottom left. And you can give the center. And you can give center over here as well. You can, you can see that it, it has come to the center. So those are the different things you can do with the alignment. <coughs> Now let's uh, get into the f font color. Font dot color. Now if I give here VB green, if I click on play, you can see that the the font color changed to green. So we have a couple of colors like this, like VB black. We can give um, we be white we can give but we'll not be able to see anything we can we be red we can give we be cyan also so all these are different colors uh, that we can give and also another thing you can do is if you don't want to give this uh, this one you can give color index equals maybe 12 or something so we have uh, 56 uh, till 56 you can give the different numbers over here and you're gonna get uh, different colors 
55 will give something like this blue 56 would be I don't know kind of gray right now that's that and another thing the final thing which I would like to show in this video is to change the background color so interior so I'm just gonna put this dot in order to have an assistance here interior dot color now I'm gonna give VB red again and uh, let's see what happens you can see that the entire color changed to red so similarly you can give VB green you'll be able to see the you, you'll be able to see the difference here and another thing as I told before is color index which you can play around with and you can change the color index by maybe 53 or something and every every number from 1 to 56 is going to give you different colors uh, let's say I'll give number 7 and it's going to give you a kind of a purple color so that's all about this particular video I hope you enjoyed this particular video and uh, thank you so much and stay tuned and also don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon for regular updates and ensure to hit the subscribe button thank you and stay tuned